All right, so we're going to get into a couple more things that might help out with giving your character a little bit different um, or customized look about them. Um, we're going to get into deformers. And so I'm going to work with my generic guy right here. And I want to first make sure that I am in modeling. So my last thing I was in animation. So I'm going to switch this to modeling. And now that I have modeling up, I have this pop up deform. And with deform, I'm going to move down to nonlinear. And I have different options here. Bend, flare, sign, squash, twist, wave. And I select that. After I had already selected my model, I have an attribute editor that shows squash. Now I can take this and squash and stretch basically my model here and I can do it along different with different parameters so the expand how much do I want to do it how oh that's way too much right um, so I still want to be able to see my character so I don't want to go overboard with that maybe one was about right for this um, and then this will kind of work with within that range my factor of how much I want to expand it. Um, max expand, you can kind of tell like where here, or maybe I want it to expand more here and then more kind of based up on top. Like it's kind of squeezing it down around that ring. Right. And so you can kind of tell it where you can adjust it, expand it and stretch it, and then kind of fine tune it to get kind of a look for your character. Start and smoothness is going to be, um, basically and try to keep everything from going out to nothing. So try to keep everything, all your mesh nice and smooth without getting fractaled up. So that was a very technical term, fractaled up. Low bound, high bound, how much do you want to range that squashing and stretching? It's up to you. I like how it looks like a flattened blob, like the character just melts. But different ways that you can get your character to kind of uh, um, reshape them, reform them um, without getting bogged down with vertices and planes and or faces and all of that. So that is squash. There's other options that you have here. If I get into this character again, go to deform, go to nonlinear. Let's try a little bit of twist. In the attribute editor, again, I have these options that pop up I like this kind of makes it reminds me of like something that, you know, in Harry Potter apparates and like kind of twists and like vanishes. Right. So that's kind of cool. But how much is that going to be used for your character? It kind of adds, you know, if you twist them, look, the nose twist, if you don't make it look like the shoulders are turning, the whole face is going to twist. But there's options on how much you want it to twist, you can give it an end angle. Um, you can give it again, some boundaries of where do you want it to twist? Do I want it to twist just the head or just the face? Um, and then give it a twist. And then you can do that. Kind of see kind of leaves the rest of the body alone. That's just some different things that you can do um, to get some interesting effects on a character to form nonlinear let's try a flare and this is if you want to flare something up you can really widen it out along different axes now i've totally changed the look of that model um and get into different limits end x flare same thing here now you can't tell sometimes what's changing unless you look at it from all angles so x axis z axis on the flaring Curving kind of has an overall effect. I like kind of playing around with these and seeing what my limits are. Oh, just like that. Got a totally different character from that to that. Like Alien to Chad. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, and then you have something totally different you can work with. Um, I love the options and the possibilities that you can do with this. Just take some tinkering around um, and seeing what works best for your character. So have fun with this. Um, and remember, if you decide that one's not for me, you can 
select it over here in your outliner and just delete it out and start fresh with a new one. And that's pretty much it. So have fun with that and we'll see you next time.